What's up, Wizards? It's Dev from SBMTG back again, and we are going to do another Dragons of Tarkir draft today. Um, you'll notice right away I'm not on the same site I was last time. This site is uh, courtesy of one of our subscribers. Shoutouts to Jake Freedom, who suggested this site to me. It is much uh, better from what I've seen so far. This is a much cleaner site with uh, fewer issues. This is MTG Mirror. Dot com. Um, this is basically the same thing, a free draft simulator, and all you have to do for right now, I'm in the Dragons of Tarkir section, is go to Draft Simulator and then start drafting. That'll open the pack, so let's see what we get, guys. Well, Corpse Weft, that's cool, right off the top, and uh, Gravecaller is a very good card. As a matter of fact, a lot of these cards are pretty darn good. This actually won me a game in the pre-release, Side of the Scale Lords, after I bagged on it in the set review, so yeah. And Echoes of the Kentry um, won me a game in Limited, or uh, the pre-release, after I praised it in the set review. So I both know what I'm talking about and do not know at all what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of these other cards are pretty good. You got Defeat and Anticipate up here. Um, even the Bear is good and the Tail Slash, obviously, and even the Toon Cast. Like, a lot of this is good, but I think Corpse Weft is kind of bomby and, well, Grave Color is really good, too. But I'm going to go with Corpse Weft because it's awesome. <laughs> it's a good reason to pick any card. So uh, we're not firmly in black, really. That's just a really good card. Here's another one, too. This is Cunning Breeze Dancer. They say you always take the best card in the pack, and it's probably it, definitely. Stampeding Elk Herd, also very, very good. Um, we could just draft, like, green-black for this one. That'd be kind of cool. Again, okay, four activation. Yeah, it, it, Corpse with four creatures out of your graveyard, automatically act activates Formidable. So that's that's a cute, fun thing to do. Um, I actually will try to draft green-black. I've been talking about doing that anyway, so why not? And here's a pacifism in this pack. Man, pacifism's so good. Uh, probably will take the Bowmasters, though. I really... I don't know why I want to do this green black thing. We've been talking about it. There's a dragon scarred bear. He's good. So is the butcher, actually. So I think I'm going to probably take the bear here. I know that butcher is crazy, but so is the bear. I just don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to lose a guy to kill a guy. I don't know. Dragon scarred bear. I just I don't know that butcher is as good as, as a lot of those sort of necrotal type cards that kill a guy when they come into play. Um, not really much in this pack for us here, but we'll take the naturalize. <coughs> Got another chance at the butcher, and this time I think I will take it. Why not? There's an Aven. We want the Vulturous Aven. And a Cylingar also super awesome, but I really like Vulturous Aven. I was just talking about how I don't like Exploit, but that's it that's really good. We've already got a Bowmaster, so I'm gonna take the defeat here. It's another defeat, which I will take actually. And another Bowmasters. <laughs> so this is gonna be like a constructed deck here. I will take the Herald, the best card in the pack, probably. Um, Tigum Strike is pretty darn good. Both of these cards are meh, but I don't know, I'll probably take the Rig. And this! <laughs> Next pack, that's a pretty cool card there. A lot of these cards are quite good, but not anything that we really need. I guess the Coat with Venom, but like, check out the red in this pack. Twin Bolt, and a Sarkin's Rage, and a Stormwing Dragon, and a Dragon's Fodder. Even the Kindle Fury is pretty good, and the Aspirin. So, wow, I've red in this pack. Maybe even the Reckless in, but I think I'm going to go with the Coat for now. This pack, another Stormwing Dragon. That's insanity. I'm going to take the Beast Breaker out of here. I've already got two defeats. Shambling Goblin is not the worst thing ever, but I like Beast Breaker more, definitely. Hey, there's an Epic Confrontation. And more crazy red cards. It's insane. You know, red's really good in this set, though. It's another epic confrontation. Ultimate price. I'll probably take that. Yeah. Let's take the ultimate price. Probably the Herd Chaser Dragon. I've already got an Avon. Avon's really good, but yeah. Well, let's take the Herd Chaser. There's another we could take if we wanted, but actually, I really like the Butcher's Glee in this pack. I should take this. Very, very almost definitely should take this. But because... I am who I am. I'm going to take the Butcher's Clee. I really like that card. How did this get here? There are like a million cards left in this pack. No one's taken the Death Fang yet. That's that's unbelievable. Um, Stampeding Elk Herd will take again because it's dumb. And the Yearling, why not? Reckless Imp. Another defeat, but I actually take this little guy here. 
These are both good cards. Rush and Arp Maneuver. I'll take the Maneuver away, though. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, the Evolving Waltz. I don't even know why I'm looking at that. Drive of Driving Fire and blah. So now we're in our favorite Forge Pack. Jeez, Master of the Unseen is an insane, insane card. Um, we do have some other cool stuff in here. You know, they're trying to fill out. I think the Crew Shock might wheel, because there's, there's other good stuff in here. Elite Scale Guard is crazy. So, I don't know. I mean, Dallas of Gloom probably won't wheel. I mean, if we wheel anything in this pack that we want, it'll probably be the Guide. But in a real draft, I would definitely take the Mastery. You would never want anyone else to have that. It's so insane. Got a chance at another Dallas and Gloom. Soul Tag Emissary is actually not god-awful. And then Hunt the Weak is also good. What do we want here? God, more insane red, by the way. Um, Hard to say. You know, we really haven't gotten a ton of help in green. And, like, whatever green is double-costed. Um... Douse and Hunt. Those are probably the two cards I want the most. Oh, Sultai Emissary, really, he's actually better than people think he is. Especially in this one, I can manifest down like a big green fat dude. Um, <clears throat> toughest pick so far. I think I'm going to take the Hunt, and, hunt the Week. I actually really like that card a lot. I had to read Diplomacy of the Waste for a second. I'd forgotten that card was a thing. Yeah, Soul Tide Room Art. Also, Grim Contest. Yeah, I like Grim Contest. Got some other cool stuff. Look at that. Actually, good things for us in this pack. Reach of Shadows is good. Feral Crucioke is good. We run the risk of really running a lot of removal right now. <laughs> There's, We've got some a fair amount of removal, I'd say. Um, Take the Crucioke. I just want dudes with huge bodies right now. Another Reach of Shadows. But in this pack, we're either going to take the Angler or the Dragon. It's going to be the Dragon. And nothing. I, maybe I want the Typhoid Rats. Yeah, totally. Jungle Hollow is cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> Absolutely nothing in this pack. I'll take somebody else's fixing away. All right, so the Dowson Gloom did wheel back around, and we'll take it. This is the other Dowson Gloom, so I'll take the Sultai Emissary, actually. And the Rune Mark. Reach of Shadows wheeled. Another Reach of Shadows. I maybe should have taken the Blade there, but... Removal is always good. So, all right. Here's our card pool here. We've got some fair stuff. Let's go ahead and start off. Definitely the Corpse Weft. That. 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 Butcher is fine. Vulture Haven. All these are fine. Defeat. Maybe two. Here's an Airy Bowmasters again. Yes. 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 Absolutely that. Yes. Yes to Butcher's Glee. Um, yes, Typhoid Rats, too. Also the Dragon. Probably the Grim Contest, the Feral Crucioc. I want the Hunt the Week. I'm starting to really run low on slots right now, probably. Got that. Let's see what we're looking at. 20 cards in my deck, so I can add three cards pretty comfortably, and that's actually awesome. So there are probably three cards I want to add here. Um, <clears throat> so maybe the Reach of Shadows, perhaps the Rune Mark. Soul Time Emissary is fine. Don't really know that I want to add the Reckless Imp. Cope with Venom and Defeat are also possible. I've already got one Defeat. Let's take a look at our creatures here. Because I have, like, no good guys on the lower end, I don't think. Yeah, it's Stimpeting Helper, it's 5, 4, 3 right there. We got another 5, another 4, another 4, 6, a 5, there's a 2. That's a thing. Got a 5 and a 1. <laughs> so, let's um try and hedge our early game bets here. There's a Shambling Goblin. Sultai Emissary. Maybe the Dowsing Gloom or the Defeat. How many guys do we actually have right now? I mean, they're all good dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve, thirteen, fourteen guys. That's actually pretty good, actually. Um, but I'm really thinking about adding the Colossus on Yearling. Honestly, maybe I'm just crazy. 
Um, I I think I've got a lot of late game removal. I don't know that I need the Reach of Shadows, honestly. Um, the whole one or more colors thing really not as relevant. As a matter of fact, I might want to board that one, but let's see. Actually, I'd rather like Dowsing Gloom. And I'd rather like Defeat. I'll just play both of them and kill the Reach of Shadows. And I'll board it, and if they have some kind of crazy dude. Is Colossus on Yearling? Like, I'm still, for whatever reason, that's catching my eye. Let's see what our removal looks like. Sylvangar Butcher, Sword of Removal, definitely. We got Defeat, Ultimate Price, Epic Confrontation, Butcher's Glee, Pseudo Removal, um, Grim Contest, Dowson Gloom, and another Defeat. So, yeah, I think we're fairly stacked on removal, removal right now. So, yeah. I think that's probably good. What about Colossal Yearling? Colossus on Yearling. Just kind of a quick look through. I don't think there's anything I'd really want to replace. I'm pretty high up in my curve. Got some four and five drops here. Six. Two sixes. So, you know. I'm actually, I'm feeling pretty good about it, though. It's like nothing but removal and really good dudes. So, let's go with Evolving Wilds. Jungle Hollow. I'll leave us 15 lands here. I think I probably... I think I want more green just because a lot of my green cards are double cost. For some reason there are three planes in my deck. Let's figure that shit out. We have 40 cards in here now. Let's try a test hand out. I like that you can do that on this side. It's really cool. Let's try a test hand. This actually is a really good hand, all things considered. Just drop your Typhoid Rats, get to your Dragon Scarred Bear, and draw from there. You can probably play your Bowmasters turn four, maybe five. You'll you'll have to get the forest, but there's more forest than swamps in the deck. And then eventually, you've already got the two swamps for it, you'll probably hit your dragon. There's other stuff, too. I really like the whole try a test hand thing. Let's try a couple more out here, see what we get. So yeah, this is, this is more than fine, too. You can drop your Typhoid Rats turn one, like we've been doing. Or you can Evolving Wilds turn one, see what they do, and then drop your Typhoid Rats. You've already got mana in your hand for the Airy Bowmasters. Grim Contest is really good with the Bowmasters and with the Typhoid Rats. So that's that's a fair hand, too. Let's, uh, let's try a third one here, and this is it. Yeah, also pretty good. You can play Runescard Bear and Ultimate Price off this hand. You've already got the two colored mana to play Stampeding El Elk Herd. And just one more mana away from playing your four-drop Voltress Haven. So this is also... A pretty fair hand, I'd say. Maybe not the first couple of turns, but if they play, you know, monocolored dudes on the second turn, then you got the ultimate prize sitting there for it. So yeah, this is this is more than fine, I think. Uh, so yeah, maybe green black could be a thing. We've got a very good amount of removal and a very good amount of solid creatures here. So let me know what you guys think about green black and dragons of Tarkir draft. I think it actually looks super solid. So yeah, I want your opinion on that. And you can join us next time. We'll probably be back on MTG Mirror. Thanks again, Mr. Freedom. That's super awesome of you for suggesting this site. I'm Dev from SBMTG. Remember to like, share. Sharing does us crazy amounts of good. Comment and subscribe, you know, so we can see more of these drafts. Because they're really fun for me, and I hope they're fun for you. we got deck techs and stuff. I just put one up for Black White Warriors. Look for that in the, in the description is the name of that thing. And I will see you guys later, man. Appreciate you for watching, Wizards. This is my life. Call it Chronicles, but you only see half Monocle. Might have to take a little break if the Chronic calls, and I'm the best of both worlds. Sonic and Knuckles never quit. For some reason, there are three planes in my deck. Let's figure that shit out.